For anybody new to the channel, I'm Troy. And I'm Linda. Now, Troy, where are we headed today? We're headed to the grocery store to get everything I need to make one of my favorite Blackstone recipes, smash burgers. Now, well, we'll quickly show you those. We're going to, uh, today's video is going to focus on a recipe we did a few weeks ago, which is pizza on the Blackstone. And also, we're going to go over some of our favorite Blackstone accessories. So one of our places to buy genuine Blackstone accessories is Walmart. You just never know what you're going to find. The key to a good smash burger is the char. And to make that char just right, you need to keep the hamburgers very thin, which brings us to our first accessory. We bought this kit at Walmart a few months ago while searching for a heavier spatula. We really like the spatula. It doesn't bend easy, and it's big enough to handle burgers and pizza. You can buy this by itself, but there was another item in this kit that we really like. It also has a press for making smash burgers, but thinking this would also be great for quesadillas or panini. Once you have the spatula, you gotta have somewhere to put it, and that brings us to our favorite accessory. This slides on the back of the Blackstone. It's lightweight, and we always have the spatula ready, and not just sitting on the table. It also came with three very strong magnets to hold other tools. Now let's get back to those smash burgers. One of the biggest problems we have from time to time camping and trying to cook is the wind. We have used the dollar store choppers and foil, but wanted something a bit sturdier. So Linda found this on Amazon. It's heavy, snaps on where we put it, stays secure, and it covers all three sides and has a warming shelf built in, which is great for the buns. The spatula holder will still go on, and it helps keep the grease off the things around it. Now who says you can't make quality pizza on the griddle? So for us, the key to great pizza is a crispy crust. I start with pre-made dough. Many grocery stores will sell a ball of dough that you can roll out, but we're lucky that our grocery store also has these pre-rolled. Makes it so much easier when we're on the road. Then comes the sauce. I find, for me, the easiest is just to make it with a passata or tomato puree and then add some spices and ingredients to taste. Here's a tip, a little sugar helps cut the tomato taste. So for tonight's pizza, we're cooking up some sweet Italian sausage. Then we're gonna add some roasted red peppers from a jar, thinly sliced fresh onions, and fresh mozzarella. So once we got the sausage really crispy, we turn the dial down to low and let the griddle cool for a minute. Now it's time to add the crust. Now you wanna keep checking, you just want it golden brown. Depending on how hot the griddle is, typically two to four minutes. So once I get it golden brown, I go ahead and flip it over. This helps cook the crust all the way through and keep it crispy. At this point, it's time to add the sauce. I do keep uh, it light so as not to water down the crust. Then it's time to add the toppings. And I like to crumble the mozzarella small so it melts quickly. So once I flip it, it takes about two minutes to go ahead and add those ingredients before I add the basting cover. Now at this point, you're gonna to wanna to keep a watch on the bottom of the crust and uh, keep peeking to see how the mozzarella is melting. It should be done in about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how dark you like your crust and how melted you like your cheese. 
Then it's time to cut it, serve it, and enjoy. So that's it. If you guys have any accessories that you use and you think we should know about, please let us know in the comments down below. We want to hear about your recipes and your ideas. If you guys like what you're seeing and you've enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button. And remember, Desi always wants you to hit that notification bell.